Liam Play here with your 895 Coronavirus Update for May 31st. In New Jersey, hundreds of people gathered outside of the Trenton State House and in downtown Trenton this afternoon to continue Black Lives Matter protests. This is the second straight day of protests in the state's capital as hundreds gathered yesterday as well. The protests started at 3 p.m. and lasted until 6 p.m. In more local news, over two dozen New Jersey churches have filed a federal lawsuit Friday against Governor Phil Murphy over restrictions on in-person services during the pandemic, claiming that the closure orders violate the First Amendment right of religious freedom. The lawsuit is a part of a national push by churches and houses of worship to open with safety precautions. In New York, dentists across the state will be allowed to reopen Monday as it was one of the final health care services still on pause due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Dentist offices will still need to follow state guidelines and social distancing. Governor Cuomo also announced that the number of hospitalizations and fatalities in New York State have continued to decline. I will now send it over to your WSU sports update for the day. Thank you, Liam. This is Dalton Allison with your WSOU sports update. As protests have erupted across America over the past couple of days, stemming from the death of George Floyd at the hands of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, they have spilled onto the few fields that athletes have been allowed to roam. After scoring a goal for Borussia Mönchengladbach on Sunday, French striker Marcus Thurman kneeled, mirroring the protests done by former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick. That's what's happening in sports. Now back to Liam. That's all for today's update. Make sure to follow WSU News on Instagram and Twitter for more daily updates. Reporting for WSU News, I'm Liam Plate.